With renewed calls for police reform and justice following the beating death of Tyree Nichols, activists have stepped up to the plate to protect and serve black communities. Nearly 60 years ago, during the Civil Rights Movement, the Black Panther Party was created to patrol black neighborhoods, protect residents from police brutality, and promote social change. Now in this modern day, a grassroots organization is expanding on its work across the nation to protect and serve the black community. Joining me now is Zeke Williams, founder and president of New Era Nation in Detroit. So, Zeke, thanks for being here. Uh, black people are three times more likely than white people to be killed by the police. There's a lot of danger out there. Talk a bit about why it's important, the work that you're doing. You know, we want to be able to put ourselves in a position to where if things pop off or, you know, something happens in our community, it doesn't always have to be a police thing. Um, we believe that able-bodied men uh, in their communities should be able to step up to the plate and do more to police their own communities. We're extremely big on that. We're extremely big on accountability um, and making sure that we look at ourselves and say, okay, systematically, we looking at a situation that is not broken. It's just a system that has been in place that has never really had um, us in mind and protecting us in mind. Um, and that's just the facts of the matter. So if we know this, opposed to going year after year after year, you know, after we see something and, and someone else get killed by the police, why don't we put ourselves in a situation to do more to police our own communities? Uh, and essentially, that's what we do across the country. And tell me a bit about the programs that you're offering um, and the principles, the core principles of your group. So, yes, um, we are... Uh, a community organization. Um, you know, our whole principle is making sure that we're able to make organization a lifestyle. So to kind of get out of the cliche, you know, just doing something for your community when it's holiday seasons or when it's an event, uh, but essentially making it a lifestyle to get out in the community uh, and build relationships with people and work on realistic issues um, and not wait till something happens. So this is not something that we did after a police killing. This is something that we've been doing consistently in our communities across the country uh, for eight years and, and, and staying consistent. Um, our core values uh, and, and what we stand on uh, is accountability. Uh, Self-accountability first, making sure that we hold ourselves accountable um, to get out here and do more household accountability, which is uh, environmental accountability, making sure that we hold those around us accountable um, to be on the same page and on board. Uh, community accountability, which is three, uh, making sure that we get out in the community, hold ourselves accountable for doing more uh, in the communities that we live in and hold people in our communities accountable for doing more in our communities. Then we have uh, economic accountability, making sure that we do more to increase the economic stability in black communities, make sure that we build more black businesses, support more black businesses. The number one employer of black people is black businesses. Um, so, it, and, and we're a trillion dollar um, um, business when it comes to um, us being able to put money out uh, so we want to make sure that we're able to put that back in. And then our fifth level of accountability uh, is political accountability. We we must be able to organize ourselves in a way to where when it comes to politics, we are actually able to make our votes count. Um, and not just the typical get out and vote, but political education, um, educating our, the community on what uh, politics is and how it directly affects them um, and, and, and speaking more in terms of what positions are set in place to do opposed to the people that set in place to, to do those things. And I want to talk to you a bit about the Black Panther Party, and I want to make sure I understand. The Black Panther Party, it had women um, as part of it. It was—women uh, played an integral role as part of that. Is that also part of your group or women separate? What's the, what's the situation there? No, absolutely. So the recent videos that a lot of people may see, they may see the brothers out uh, in the community, um, you know, protecting uh, the sisters, the the kids, the elders. Um, you know, that's just uh, our part. But we have 17 different programs, just like the Black Panther Party that most people don't know. You know, that party was predominantly uh, black women. And the same thing with our organization. We got very um, brilliant black, black women. Um, all across the country within our organization, helping pushing programs. We got programs from financial literacy uh, to mental health um, to conflict resolution, which is one of our biggest programs, making sure that we have an understanding of how to resolve conflicts and particularly when we're talking about in school with the kids and the uptick of, um, you know, uh, crime against kids on kids. Conflict resolution is huge, um, but we do a lot uh, in our community and it's both a combined effort from men and women. 
And talk to me about the future of your party, or the future of your group, rather. Um, where is it going? What do you hope to, to accomplish in the next few years and months? So our goal is just to make organization a lifestyle. So once again, um, our goal is to be in every black community nationwide and worldwide. Um, with us working um, in Nigeria and parts of Africa too as well, um, but to put a system in place for what is day-to-day -day organization in black communities. True enough, we have thousands upon thousands of black organizations, um, but our goal is to make sure that we are able to define what organization actually looks like in black communities. What does it look like to be organized in our communities and work towards our issues and our problems year round? So um, yeah. our goal is to make sure that we push the black print that we've created here in the city of Detroit um, and, and push it all across uh, the country and all across the world. Well, definitely a powerful group, a group that I'm excited to learn more about. So thank you so much, Zeke Williams. Thank you for having me.